Hello friends, welcome to BISP Solutions. Myself Ashwin and I work as a technical consultant at BISP Solutions. BISP Solutions is a tech company and provide tech solutions across the world. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own dashboards. In my last videos, we have learned how to create a data set, how to create a workbook. So I recommend you to watch my previous videos also. Now in this, suppose many times in a project, it is required that suppose display this particular analytics report on a dashboard or share this particular analytics report with other employee. So how it is done, let's come to the browser. I will show you. Now see here, here you can see, here is my dashboard. And this is the analytics report that I have shown here. Now see here, this is a workbook. I have created a dash data set here in our last previous video. and I have saved that data set in workbook with this name, sales order union, sales order union workbook chart. I have saved this as a chart. Now let me delete this. I will show you how to bring that particular analytics report on a dashboard, right? Now, first of all, we have created a workbook, right? Now we want this chart to be visible on the dashboard. First, we will go to our dashboard. Here, personalize. Here, you will see analytics. You will drag this analytics report here. This. Let me remove this. Analytics portlet. Now, setup. We will go to the setup. I will search this particular chart. Now I will click on this. It will ask you, first of all, the name analytics, right? Then it will ask you the uh, size of the chart, height of the portlet. We will take it as short and then we will save it. See here, the same chart is available here now. Now you can change the uh, view as per your requirement, whether it is horizontal, vertical, that depends on your requirement. These are the different, different types of charts that you want to show. So in this way, we show the analytics report on a dashboard. We can create our own customized report or our customized dashboard. Now, suppose many times, it is asked that share this particular report with any other employee so that he can also have that particular report on his dashboard. So you will click here on share. These are the list of the roles and these are the list of the employees. These are complete roles. And suppose if you want to share it by name, these are the names. And these are the roles. And if you want to share it with all, it will share it with all your employees. So in this way, when you create any analytics report, it can be either shared by a particular employee or all the employees, or it can be shown on the dashboard. So this is how we share, uh, we create or customize our own dashboard. Here, similarly, you can share, like you can display your saved search or any other type of report on your dashboard. So this is also a requirement that is uh, raised by the client or in a project. So this is most important video guys. Uh, please practice this. And if you, uh, face, uh, if you face any difficulty in it, you can note down in your comment box. I will try to resolve it. So till then watch my videos and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks a lot.